Hey coin collectors and welcome to the Big D Coin Channel. This is DC and we're going to look at the 1963 United States one cent coins. This is one here. This is one here. Look at this Liberty on here. It's just the weirdest thing. Um, see how the Liberty kind of bounces up, almost goes in a circle in this funny little Y on the end. This is what the Liberty should look like. This is the one I found and I'm going, well, that's weird. I haven't heard of any kind of weird lettering on the liberties and maybe it's just somehow it just kind of wore down that way so i said let's look through a couple of the other ones and see so this is the one that i found and looked at and what i what i wanted to see on it was the y did the see how the t kind of tips down a little bit and the y comes in there and so i looked at a bunch of other ones see how that t straight that and this 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 y here just drove me crazy this one just straight on there, this one, just straight on there. And so I went through a bunch of them and said, you know, what happened to the Y on this coin? And I'm not really sure. The T kind of tips down the Y. Somehow, I don't know whether the coin got dented and um, that happened, but it looks like, so none of these other ones have that kind of weird Y on them. Well, so I'm just gonna keep these out and let's take a look at them in 1963. The United States Mint only minted pennies at two mints. Uh, the Philadelphia Mint, which had no mint mark, and the Denver Mint, which had the D mint mark over here. At the Philadelphia Mint, they minted 757 million, and at the Denver Mint, they minted 1.774 billion. This is one of those years where you're going to find a tremendous amount of Ds, and you're going to go, oh, Great, I found a D from 1963. It turns out that they made almost three times as many Denver Mint pennies as they did Philadelphia pennies in 1963. What are they worth? If you get one in a MS65, each of these is worth between 10 and 12 bucks. If you can get one in a proof set version, you know they had those small proof sets back then. You can it's worth about six dollars, but not an incredibly expensive coin. When I was looking through them, I said, what do other people in the world have? And I'm going to show you some other one cent coins. They're pretty interesting because we had this penny. We haven't had a large penny for a long, long, long time. But say United Kingdom, this is a United Kingdom penny. So compare that to the, the U.S. penny here. And we see that it has Britannia on the back. It says one penny on it. Now, on the United States one, it doesn't say a penny on it anywhere. And people kind of say, well, why do you keep calling it a penny? Because it's a one cent coin. Well, we kind of took that from Great Britain. They called it a penny. We call it the Lincoln penny, even though it's a Lincoln Memorial one cent coin, really. And so here's Britannia, and you know that uh, this is 1966, the next to the last year that they made the large, um, well, for circulating, they made them in 67, and then they just made some um, mint set versions after that. So it's just hugely different. We turn it over, and we see that, of course, there's the queen on there, Queen Elizabeth the second. This is the first portrait, the Mary Gillick portrait. Elizabeth the second, Dea Gratia Regina, FD. And so this is, is, of course, the large penny from the United Kingdom or Great Britain. Uh, here's another one. Looks, And you'll see that this penny, why would I have two in a row? Well, it turns out that not only Great Britain made uh, these pennies. And if you look at this one, you'll see it's slightly different than the other one. Let's see what, what if we can find out any differences here. So it says Elizabeth, II, um, same kind of stuff, Gina, FD. But then when we flip it over, guess what we see? Ah, it's the Australian kangaroo penny, the George Kruger Gray kangaroo penny. This is a 64 penny. So same front, but this one is from Australia and not from the uh, United Kingdom. I'm just having some light issues here, huh? Uh, here's another one, same front. It's Queen Elizabeth II, the same Mary Gillick portrait, but guess where this one's from? Ah, New Zealand. So we have a New Zealand one, one penny. They made large one pennies. Australia made large one pennies. United Kingdom made large one pennies. And then, oh, this is not a United Kingdom penny. This is, I oh, let's take a look at the front of this. This is the Irish one pinion when the Irish uh, became the Irish Free State in 1920 in the 1920s they came out with their own coins and here is 
this the Irish Free State 1928 one pinion coin. And this just says uh, Irish Free State on here. I can't speak in Gaelic, I think is what it is. But it has this beautiful harp on here. So same size. So they switched over. They got rid of all the United Kingdom or British coins and, uh, and when the Irish Free State came. But they used the same side coin. And they, it's, it's a pinion, not a penny. But essentially pinion uh, means penny, I believe. And it's the hen and chicks pinion. Well, how about Canada? Let's look at some of those large Canadian pennies. Well, it turns out that the Canadians switched over to the small cent very, very early. This is uh, George V. So we know that it's going to be in the in the maybe teens or early 20s, maybe. Ah, the late is 1936. Um, this is the last year, I believe. Canada, one cent. So Canada went small very early. Let's compare that compare that. So this Canada went uh, small in uh, the 20s, I believe, 1920s. So they were, did not have a small cent. Um, let's see. Oh, here, look at this one. Here's another one cent coin. What is this? Well, when we see this and we see the privy marks, and you guys know they put privy marks on one of the United States coins. They've never done this. We know it's probably European because it has the privy marks on there. Um, uh, but who uses cents in the European um, countries? And this is, of course, not a, it's, this is not the Euro cent. This is a, an older cent. It's a 1963. Well, there we go. The Netherlands, they have one cent coins also. And, of course, this one is even tinier than the United States coin. It's dwarfed by the Lincoln. So a lot of people use the one cent coin. Some of them, people call them the one penny. They've all gone to a smaller a coin at this point. Uh, Great Britain's looks a little bit more like this. This is a, uh, the kind of mid version. This is the one new penny. And then, of course, Great Britain went to the one penny. So to see the difference here, new penny and one penny. All right. Well, uh, that's enough. But um, if you do see some of these coins and you're looking through them, you may see these kind of odd marks on them sometimes. And always look for them because um, it might be that you have a coin that has some slight differences on it, like this one where the Liberty kind of bounces around and then there's this funky Y. Um, and keep, when you get one of these, keep these because that, that little difference um, may make this coin more valuable to somebody someday. All right, that's all we have from <clears throat> Big D Coin Channel. I'd love to have you subscribe to the Big D channel. Have a great day.